Coach, you and the team took in the announcement in a private setting here at the Jordan Center. What was the reaction? I'd probably say disappointment. You know, we thought we had the metrics. Um, we thought we made a good run in the semis. Uh, and we thought we deserved uh, a tournament. Uh, hear our name uh, today, uh, but we didn't. So I told them, hey, let's be disappointed for a little bit, uh, but let's look forward to what the NIT has to offer, which is a great and very historical and prestigious mm -hmm. tournament as well, and let's get ready to, to compete in that. Knowing that your future is in the NIT and coming off of that emotional Big Ten tournament, how does it feel to know that these guys still have another game ahead of them. Yeah, and I said that. I said after the uh, Big Big Ten tournament, mm -hmm. I said, hey, we've got a lot of basketball in our future. All right, this isn't the end. Let's be emotional now. You know, let's shed those tears because we love each other and we, we're invested. And, and for me, it's all about the investment. When you see players crying, you know that they really put everything they had into this season and to finish strong. And we dealt with some adversity. We didn't have Josh Reese for some games and Mike Watkins' uh, injury, and they still battled through and were able to get to the semi. So we got to approach us like, hey, got to continue to get better. We're led by sophomores. So the future is very bright for Penn State basketball. So we want to keep practicing. We're playing, we played meaningful games in, in February, and that's the first time for us during my tenure here. You mentioned Mike Watkins. What will his status be for the postseason? We're probably not going to have him for the postseason. Um, but he's rehabbing and he's getting better, and I know he wants to help his team out. This team will be playing Wednesday, hosting fifth seed Temple. Just a few moments ago, you guys were going over the rule changes in the NIT tournament. Mm -hmm. What do you know about Temple, and how do you prepare? Oh, man, I know Fran Dunphy <laughs> so well. He coached my brother at Penn. Um, you know, he's a great guy, great coach. Uh, we go to the same beach area. It's just, there's so many relationships there. And then most of our guys are best friends with their guys. Okay. So I think these two teams are going to be ready to play each other on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Uh, I just know he's a great coach. They're a great team. they got a lot of really good players. So we'll prepare for them over the next couple of days, and we'll get ready. Now, we did go on a foreign tour, so we knew we had some FIBA rules. Mm -hmm. So we know the three-point line is going to be extended four quarters, uh, good things like that. So we'll, we'll get our guys ready over the next couple of days. What type of matchup do you think we can expect here on Wednesday? Oh man, it's going to be a you know backstreet brawl for sure. Uh, a lot of Philly kids are going to be on the floor, and you know we're not going to give up an inch. They're not going to give up an inch, so it should be pretty interesting. Coach, you are coming off your first 20-plus win season here. Three of those being o over Ohio State, and you mentioned a ton of sophomores. What is being built here at Penn State, and what can we expect in the future? Yeah, I think there's a lot of success here. I mean, we had 15 or more wins the last five years, uh, over six the last three. Penn State hasn't really seen that often. We're starting to build consistency, and to get to 21 and two wins in the Big Ten, it just shows you where we're headed. Our younger guys are growing up. They're maturing. They're getting better. That's why I'm excited to be, you know, to continue to play basketball right now. So we'll build off this 21-win season. We'll build off this NIT and hopefully we'll have a different outcome for next year. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck on Wednesday. Guys.